A contortionist fit his entire body into a wine bottle. No, he didn't. This is unimportant. Guaranteed to not change your life. This is the Unimportant Podcast. Welcome to the Unimportant Podcast. My name is Anthony. That is Joe Bob. Today we're talking about a guy who could fit his entire body into a wine bottle. I already hate this topic. Like a like a regular size wine bottle too. What on earth? <laughs> so, in nineteen sorry in seventeen forty nine, there was an ad that went out uh, in in uh, then what England? Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, that said that was advertising for a performance done by a contortionist who claimed to to fit his entire body in a wine bottle. Now, if so, what? so, not, so not, hold possible. Blah, 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 blah. not possible. If that were possible, no. would you pay to see it? I, yeah, I it's would. Not possible. The answer is yes. If you, if you, if if it were possible and people were taking your money for it, fine. I, yeah, fine. I absolutely would. Yeah, because it. How incredible would that be? I don't. I don't even know how to answer these questions. This is not possible. So it, it, it totally isn't. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> the 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 ad in the newspaper said that a man could fit his entire body in a wine bottle. Okay. People lined up in droves for this. They, I, th- this is like the 1700s, you said, right? The 1749, yes. So this is before TV or Instagram. Mm-hmm. So there's not a lot else to do. There's not a lot else to do. So that, yeah, you, people would absolutely go and see that. So the theater that it was held in, right? Mm-hmm. Filled to the to the rafters, not a s- open seat in the house, and there was a line out the door. Right, <laughs> performance starts supposed to start at seven. Um, when seven o'clock rolled around, performance didn't start. There was no music to keep them entertained. There was no lights. There was nothing nothing on about the show. It just, yeah, just didn't didn't start on time. Um, still, people were like so enthused. Right, seven fifteen rolls around, nothing happens. Yeah, seven thirty rolls around, nothing happens. Seven forty five now. In today's day and age, musicians will say, and this irritates me to no end, they'll say the concert starts at 7, the main act won't go on until 9. Right. Like, they'll put the opener on at, like, 8, and yeah. then they'll go to 8.30, and then there's a half an hour that, until... Yeah. Yeah, we it, all just know that's how it works. This is how it works nowadays. Yeah. Not the case back then. Right? right? Like, if something started at 7, like, it started at 7, or, like, yeah. 7.01. Yeah. 8 o'clock rolls around. Can I around. just say, I'm always a little bit intrigued about time. In what way? From more than... The uh, passage of time, man. No, dude. Like the time from hundreds of years ago. Like today we all are on the... There's probably what? Like two satellites or five satellites that do time for the entire oh, Earth. Oh, got it. Yeah. Everybody has almost, exactly the same time. Yeah. And we know what time is... In the 1700s, like it was your best guess. Like true. S- some people, like wealthy people had wind-up watches, which I can't imagine were all that accurate. This is coming from you as their, the show's history expert, correct? Yes, I do have a history degree. Mm-hmm. Um, well earned. No, and it wasn't the I got uh, C's. It wasn't the uh, the last semester of college, and you needed to pick a major because you hadn't picked it. And theater, or sorry, that, history wasn't the easiest that, major to get in the last six months of your college none career. None right? of what you said is false. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, this theater is packed. Mm-hmm. Right, eight o'clock rolls around. People are starting to get a little bit yeah. restless, mm-hmm. as you would. Nobody ever comes on the stage. Okay. The the Where is this going? We all know it's impossible. What happened was, well, what what some people slash scholars think that happened is John Montague, the second Duke of Montague, rich guy, made a bet with a couple of his friends saying, I bet you I could fill a theater full of people. <laughs> Without so any actual his, performance. His idea was, I'm going to put a newspaper ad out with something ridiculous that everybody would want to see. And we should try this today. Effectively want to bet. Anybody can do that. Like if I said. What? Free ice cream at this place. Thousands of people show yeah, up. Free Beyonce concert. I guarantee you I can get 10,000 people at the arena down the street. Oh my gosh. And can we please do this? You would get sued out of your mind. Are you By kidding who? me? Beyonce for one because there goes her Miss, credibility misspell with- it <laughs> yeah. like no it's not Beyonce it's Beyonce nobody would show up no one would, people would go this I guarantee so you the promoter most, I guarantee mis- you mo- most people wouldn't notice Beyonce how do you spell Beyonce B 
E Y O N C E with a little thing over it. Is what there a little you, thing over oh, it? Oh yeah, there's a totally little thing over well, it. Well, then just forget the little thing over What's it. Is it called an accent mark? <laughs> but basically, to settle a bet, this guy completely made up an act, and then people, hundreds of people showed up, and uh, when they realized there was no act actually coming on, uh, they ransacked the place. <laughs> they <laughs> tore down the entire <laughs> theater. <laughs> they ripped out all the seats. They were they were throwing Just stuff so on the stage. Yeah, the the guy the guy who rented the theater, right? The the owner of the theater uh-huh. is probably thinking, dude, what the <laughs> f, man? Like, what is this? <laughs> what did I do to deserve yeah, what, this? Are you like so? Some guy just like imagine doing that now. Like, okay, Beyonce is going to be at the at the Citizens Bank Arena. All of a sudden, people show up, and then Beyonce's not there. What are people going to do? And she was never going to be there. People that are going to be mad. So of course they're going to be mad. And I mean, obviously it's kind of on him to, you know, he should probably, the theater owner should probably see the act first before he just willy nilly right. opens his doors. But yeah, all of these people were so upset. They tore the theater apart. At, rightfully so, honestly, That's hilarious. because, you know, I, you wasted their time. They're not getting those hours back. Yeah. But uh, I mean, regardless, it's just unimportant. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of the Unimportant Podcast. Go ahead and hit subscribe on whatever platform you're listening to if you want to guarantee your life will not be changed.